Hello, this is JD and I'm going to give you a quick presentation on uh, how to create a simple form using Gravity Forms, a premium plugin which is included in all our hosting packages for WordPress. So I need an inquiry form, so let's do that. The interface for Gravity Forms is really easy, it's a drag and drop interface. Uh, here are some standard fields which you may want to use, um, there are also advanced fields for special uses and I want one of those. Just click on it and it appears over here. And I'll have email address as well. And then I'm going to have a normal text field. I want to change the Right, so I could have a radio button. So that could be um, big box for uh, we've got the inquiry oops okay so if I update the form I can then view that see how it looks now this is shown without any formatting but um, that's nice and clean I've got a mistake there we've got a nice option button there you see inquiry so let's still need to edit this one and uh, I'd like to set some rules for my form I would like to make this a required field and the email address I would like to enable confirmation so let's put the email address in twice and that way Better chance they'll put it in correctly. And I think that's good enough for my form. Now, I just want to check what happens when my form is completed. There's a confirmation which I can send them to a page or I can just leave a message. I'm going to just be a bit nicer. And leave that as the message. On the notifications, I will probably leave it as default. But what you can do here is you can send an email from or to anybody you like, so from the system to the administrator, which will be me. And in this case, it's just going to send me a list of all the fields that have been entered. I could send a confirmation message to the person thanking very much. I would pull down menu here so I can choose any of the fields that have been requested and some control fields as well and I can generate some really nice letters, feedback letters, emails for people but I really more or less want to leave it as it is so they will happen when an email uh, is sent on completion of the form so that's my form created uh, now I need to use my form so to use my form I need to have an inquiry page. I've got here one already. Let me get rid of that though because that's now wrong. That's from another presentation. So I've got a bit of text and where I want to put my form I simply click on the add form button and choose my form. Insert it in as a short code. And that is now live. 
there it is there's my text at the top there's my form which I can fill in submit when I hit submit the message which we put in or edited in comes here and that email will be on its way to me now to tell me that somebody's put the information in the form but also it will store the information in the entry section of the forms which is here so there's the detail of the person who's entered the data into the form and that's how it is it's so easy to use uh, very powerful very clever little bit of uh, software for making forms on our websites thanks for watching